Hello again, pond lovers. One of the questions I get asked quite often is when is the correct time to stop feeding your fish as we go into the fall season and the temperatures start getting colder and colder. It's really an important topic because unlike humans, fish, your koi and goldfish in your backyard ponds are cold-blooded animals. And as such, their metabolism slows down and they have less of a need for uh, food, for energy and their metabolism. Since the fish are cold-blooded, their internal temperatures basically drop or fluctuate with the external air and water temperatures. It's important to understand that their energy systems slow down as the temperature declines. Therefore, they do not need as much food for energy and growth as they basically shut down into a hibernation state. Koi and goldfish do not have stomachs where the food can sit and digest. Instead, it basically goes through their intestines and breaks down there. However, once the temperature starts to drop, if they continue eating, they run a higher chance of the food not properly digesting and passing through their systems. So as the weather gets cooler, it's important to stop feeding them entirely. Feeding your fish throughout the summer with a good quality warm weather food, typically two to three times a day, um, you really shouldn't feed your fish any more than they can eat in about three to five minutes. In fact, if you still see food floating around after six minutes or so, I'd recommend scooping it out. Otherwise, it's just going to add to the waste product at the bottom of your pond. Temperatures should be consistently between, say, 64 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 18 to 31 degrees Celsius for those of us north of the border in Canada. Once the temperatures consistently drop between 48 and 63 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 9 to 17 degrees Celsius, you should stop using your warm weather summer food completely and switch to a more easily digestible wheat germ food. This is made more for spring and fall temperatures. It's very important to switch to this wheat germ diet because the fish, the, the regular fish food will become undigestible, as I said, by the fish and it'll actually do more harm than good to them. So with the cooler temperatures, it's probably only necessary to feed your koi once or, or just twice a day. If they're not really showing an interest in the food, don't feel the need to have to feed them. When temperatures consistently drop below 48 degrees Fahrenheit or single digits in Celsius, it's time to completely cut off the food supply to your fish. Their metabolism slows down as their body temperature is reduced. In preparation for possible freezing temperatures, it's advisable to get a bubbler or a heater to ensure an opening in the ice surface is always available for the exchange of gases. I hope this video gives you a better understanding of what your fish need as the temperatures start to cool down. Um, generally, the fish throughout the winter will, will just be fine under freezing temperatures as long as you do things like allow the gas to exchange, clean the water out properly. Um, I'll give you a link down below and up above here to tell you where uh, I've got one specifically talking about how to prepare your pond for the winter cold temperatures as far as cleaning goes. Um, but anyway, I hope this video helps you out, guys. Uh, fish do provide a great deal of uh, pleasure and fun to watch. And the one thing you want to make sure is that they make it through the winter. If you like this video, please, by all means, give me a, uh, give me a like. And uh, I look forward to hearing any comments from you below. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to click on one of the other links you see here to some of my other videos to help you with your ponds.